Hi everyone, this is Om from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering students and professionals. And for that, we keep making videos on different software and on different topics related to civil engineering field. So, what are we going to learn today? Today, we are going to learn how to get the coordinates from any beam column positioned plan. So, in the previous videos, you have already learned how you can place the beams and the columns in any architectural plans. Now, we will go for the coordinates. So, I will just draw a line over here. So, I will simply take a line and then I will just trim it. So, for that, I'm using TR double enter and my lines will be tripped. So now these lines are having the proper shape. Now I can use the extend option and from there all I have to do is to first select this line and then click on this object. And this will be extended now that I have extended my line and all my dimensions are equal so I can delete the extra line over here now I will go to the dimensions and in the dimensions you can see we will simply select the line and then get the dimensions from there so first of all let's get the dimension from here to here and you can get the distance between these two center lines similarly we will again go for the dimension and get the distance between these two lines and we will place it like this so we will repeat the process for all other lines over here so that we can get the distance between the center lines now you can notice one thing i am just taking the first line and i am taking the reference from that line one okay so why i am doing so that's the question which you can answer in the comment section so now I have all the distances along x axis. Now we will go for y axis and for the y axis we will go from bottom to top. So I will take the bottom line as my base point. So since I have just made all the lines of equal length, so it is easy for me to grab the endpoints and then specify the distance between them. Now I have distances between the center lines in the x axis and in the y axis as well. So now it's time to specify the coordinates. So first of all, we will mark this coordinate as the origin or you can say 0, 0. So I will simply write the coordinate over here. So I have already used this name over here. So I will just write one and then I will change the color. So I have changed it to red. Now 
I will work in this coordinate only or in this layer. I will go for text and write my text over here. So I have to enter the coordinate so I will keep it as origin so I am entering 0 0. Now I have to find the coordinate for this column. I will have to enter the value so I will enter 0 comma sorry this one is the x-axis so I will go for the distance between the x-axis okay so let's try for the distance first so this column lies on this center line so we will have to find out the distance of the origin or the center line so we will have to find the distance between this center line and this center line that means 3759 okay so we will start with uh, the entering the values so over here you can see we have 3759 comma 3759 comma 0 so this is our next value over here now we need the coordinate for this column okay so we will again locate the distance first so it is 8890 so we will enter the text over here so it's 8890 0 and close the bracket. So these coordinates will help you while making the nodes in the stat block. Now we will work with this one. So first of all we need to enter the distance or the coordinate of x-axis. So over here our x-axis is 0. Right? So we will simply enter the coordinate. So this is 0 comma this distance 2438 so it's 2438 and we will close the bracket then we have this column with us so let's find the distance so in the y-axis it is 5740 So it is it is zero comma five seven four zero. Okay, now let's look at the next column. So this column is at a distance of fourteen thousand nine hundred eighty six. So one four nine eight six. zero comma one four nine eight six and close it now we have to locate this column and for that value will be zero comma okay one four nine eight six is for this one so 14986 let's close the bracket and this one will be 11227 so I will just edit it so you will have to keep checking your work 11227 okay now let's look at this one so the distance over here is 3759 on the x-axis so we will enter the value so it will be 3759 comma 14986 
so that is 8890,14986 okay it's 8890,14986 so that's the distance from the origin in x axis and the y axis then we will go for this one and this will be three seven five nine comma one one two two seven as you can see the distance over here So I guess I have entered a few wrong entries instead of comma. I used full stop. So I will just change it. Okay. Now we want the coordinate of this column. So what will be this column? This is 5105 from the left to right. That is on the x axis. 5105 and on the y axis it will be 99 sorry 9220 okay nine two two zero Now I can simply select it and move it a little bit closer to the column. Then I can write the coordinate for this column. So how much will be this? So I will take the reference from the left. 5105 comma sorry the x coordinate will be different over here and the x coordinate will be 8890 comma 9220 now we can place it at a proper distance now we will work with this column. So this column will in the x direction it's uh, 5105 and in the y direction it is 5740. So I have taken the reference of x from here and y from here this one so let's check it so it is 5740 and this distance is 8890 right so this has been numbered properly Now we have to write the coordinates for two more columns that is this one and this one. So this will be 3759. We will have to check the distance on this side. So this is of how much height? 2438. So we have looked for 3759 on the x axis and 3758 and uh, sorry 2438 on this axis. Okay. Now we are left with just one last column. So we will also write the coordinate for this one and this will be.
So guys, we have written all the coordinates of all the columns that are there in this beam column layout. And now our plan is ready to be worked in the stat row. So we can use these coordinates to enter the nodes in the stat row and we will learn that in the different video session. So guys, that was all for today. If you want more such informative videos, then you can visit our YouTube channel as well as you can also visit our Facebook page where you will find a number of YouTube videos and the informative posts related to our live online classes. So if you want to register for our live online classes, then you can simply go to the link given in the description. All you have to do is to click on that link and it will open up a Google form for you. You have to just fill your details over here and I will personally give you a call and I will guide you how to proceed to join our live classes. See you in the next video. Thank you.